Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, driving up the coast, it's a couple's trip. Fourth of July weekend, Mary and I got everything packed up. We got the Jeep with us, and we're going up the coast to Santa Barbara. But there's a couple things in this video I wanna go over. Uh, really cool tips and things and upgrades that we've made. So check this out, it's pretty cool. Um, a really good upgrade, and uh, enjoy the video. So one of the upgrades we made that really made a huge difference was this insulated cover that goes on the outside of the cab. You can see it's just got these little Velcro straps here and magnets and it slips over the corner of the door here. And this thing has made a huge difference in the overall temperature inside the cab. Radical. One of the biggest upgrades we've made so far to the motorhome is this bad boy right here. So you've seen on the channel the little Blue Eddy that we've got, and that thing's worked really good. But it won't power a coffee maker, and it won't power things like uh, my wife's oxygen machine. Uh, she had a bad bout with COVID, so she has an oxygen machine where she wears at night. And we have CPAP machines, so boondocking, we needed some kind of option. And so battery backups are expensive. I think you guys have all probably seen how expensive lithium ion batteries are, um, a couple of them. And then putting solar on the roof and getting it all wired up and getting everything wired properly. That's a major investment. We don't boondock that often. So we wanted to come up with a solution where we could boondock for a night or two, but at the same time, have some portable backup power in the house. So if the power goes out, we can still run our CPAPs and, and my wife's uh, portable ox ma machine. Now, this unit will run that and two CPAPs, no problem for multiple days without having to recharge it. And this is a Van Powers Super Pro, it's 2000 watts. So you could plug your whole rig into this thing if you wanted to. It's got 2,056 watt hours. So it's a very large battery, but it is portable. It's got this handle and it's got some wheels back here. So you can kind of roll the thing around, um, you know, which is kind of cool. So you can move it around and it has multiple ways to charge it as well. So the nice thing, it's got this really nice display here. When you plug things in, it'll tell you how many watts you're using. It'll also tell you how much time you have left till you run out of juice. Uh, but if you want to plug, you know, your whole rig into this thing, it's a couple thousand watts, which is a typical motorhome, you know, smaller ones. That's about all the bigger inverter that they have in them anyway. You know, it's not going to run your your AC unit, so it's not going to do that, but it'll run your fridge, it'll run your lights and your coach. Um, you can turn the microwave on, it'll run the microwave. Uh, you could uh, run a hairdryer, you can run a coffee machine, so it has the capability to do all that. But here's the thing I really liked about this. I was looking at Blue Eddies and all these other ones, and I stayed away from them because they were well, well over $1,000. This unit on walmart.com cost me $599. And now I can go boondocking for one night, no problem, two if I have to, because this has a phenomenal charge rate, really fast. Meaning if you plug it into the wall, you only have to run your generator maybe an hour and a half, and it'll charge all the way back up because the charge rate is so high. The other thing you can do is it'll charge 12 volt, has 12 volt charging, so you can plug it into the cigarette lighter if you're driving down the road, uh, which is awesome. And it has solar plugins as well. It's got all these different options for charging. You know, if you wanna buy a portable solar panel and plug it in, it'll probably take all day, but it'll charge back up that way. Or like I said, if you just run your generator, for an hour and a half, uh, most generators take about a half a gallon an hour, so maybe five bucks, six bucks or so worth of fuel, depending if it's you know four bucks a gallon or so, it'll it'll charge back up. But what this did is it gave us the opportunity to be able to boondock um, when we weren't able to do it before because we didn't have we had to have power uh, to run the oxygen machine and to run the CPAPs and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. 
So our TVs in this unit, we really weren't using them very often because the standard channels you get uh, over the digital antenna that's on the roof aren't very good. And so we wanted to come up with a better like, how do we stream? Well, these are cheap TVs and they're not smart TVs. So that was a problem. So in the indoor TV, I bought an Apple TV. And as you can see, that works pretty good. Um, I'm picking up signal no problem using uh, Wi-Fi. But the problem is we found out in the Wi-Fi and the camps and the RV parks you're at at night when people are streaming, everybody wants to stream, it's, it's buffets and it's slow. And so that wasn't really working too well. So the solution we came up with was uh, the Calix Institute has um, a Wi-Fi device, a hotspot that doesn't throttle. And what I mean by throttling is if you've ever used your phone to stream, it'll work fantastic for a couple hours. And then all of a sudden if you're watching a movie, you'll start buffering and you can't hardly watch it. You can send emails and things like that, but if you want to download or upload information to YouTube or something like that, it's not, not possible. So the Calix Institute, they have a hotspot device. I think it's 475 for the year. It's a set price, but there's no throttling. You can use it. I've had multiple TV streaming at the same time. It works fantastic. And what we found out is going to a smart TV. If you have Apple TV or if you have a Samsung TV, you can get the Spectrum app. So we have Spectrum cable where we're at and there's an app. And so once we downloaded that, I can get cable on the road. I can watch the Dodger channel right here live and watch the Dodger games live. I'm up halfway to San Francisco. I'm a good 200 miles or so, 250 north of our normal area that we live in. And I'm still picking up my local channels, no problem watching live baseball games. So it works really good. But the problem is the outdoor TV, it wasn't a smart TV, it wasn't a high def TV, and you couldn't even get your hand in there. So. I decided it was time to change that thing out and put in a different television uh, that was a smart TV. I wanted to go with a Samsung TV. And I still, this is original TV. It came with an inside and it's pretty good. It's a 55 inch, I think, insignia. And with the Apple TV, it is very usable and it works great. Um, but the outdoor TV wasn't really, I couldn't even get my hand in there to be able to put a HDMI cable in that you couldn't even get your hands in there. And I couldn't figure out how to get in there. I couldn't figure out where the plug was. The other problem I realized is that the indoor TV, if we were driving down the road or let's say we're boondocking, you had to turn the generator on to get the TV to work. So I had the little Bluetti device that I've showed before on the channel as a portable power, but I couldn't use it outside because the, the power cable, I reached up, I couldn't even feel out where it was. So I realized there's four bolts holding on the outdoor TV. Those had to come off to me to take the TV off to get an HDMI cable hooked in to be able to play video games or uh, DVDs or anything on the outdoor TV. The other thing I wanted to fix was I wanted to get that power cable down where I can reach it so I could plug the Bluetti in if I'm boondocking, I can run power off that television. And so how you take it off the wall, four screws, the TV comes off, there's two bars on there that hold on the TV uh, to the motorhome itself. There's a couple wood studs in there and they're lag screws with hex heads. And you just take those four bolts in there, have one person kind of hold the TV while you take the four screws out. And then it just came right off the wall. When I looked it up, it's like a 720p, like 100, literally $115 television that they put in the rig. So I went down to Best Buy, I bought a Samsung TV that was a 1080 smart TV but the reason I got the Samsung is because Samsung TVs come with hundreds and hundreds of free channels like that you can get with just using Wi-Fi. Cool channels too, things that we end up watching a ton. Uh, you know, Bob Barker era price, I mean, to spend another cup, I think it was $250 or something like that for the Samsung TV to go in the outdoors because it's just so much more um, capable. And now we use that TV all the time. We were at the beach the other night, boondocking. The sun went down. We heard the waves scratching. My daughter's like, hey, let's watch Elvis Blue Hawaii. Okay, cool. Pulled out the Bluetti, hooked up the TV. We got on Amazon Prime, started streaming it. Done. We sat outside at the beach with the ocean crashing in the background, watching Elvis movies at our motorhome. It was awesome. So, you know, we took something that we weren't using ever, the outdoor TV, and we started using it all the time. Another thing I bought was this $89 Amazon video game emulator. So I was raised in the 80s, and 
video games were a huge part of my life all the way growing up. So they have these emulators that are 89 bucks. They have like 30,000 games from like every platform you can imagine up until the early 2000s. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, all those platforms and virtually every game that's on there. You can get it for 89 bucks. comes with the, the wires, the wireless controllers, everything you need. Just put a couple AA batteries in the controllers and you are good to go. One HDMI cable, super simple. Play video games outside all the time. So we're here at Los Maples uh, Resort in Texas. And we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, to be honest with you. Uh, but um, here we are, rainy day, right? Rain all day. Plans of the day, they're shot down. And this place, there's no Wi-Fi. There's no cell service. There's even signs up like, you know, the closest hospitals 50 miles away. Um, you got to drive down the road to a little store about three or four miles. They got Wi-Fi there that they'll let you use. But uh, this is a perfect example of, okay, we're here in the rig. You know, we're, we're, we're watching many DVDs and Blu-rays as we've brought with us. And, you know, that's a good, a good idea to have that on hand just in case. I mean, we hardly ever use them, but here we are. We need to keep ourselves entertained. But, um, you know, I've got my outdoor TV here. I'm under the awning and um, I'm enjoying you know some video games on my video game console that I bought off of Amazon that wasn't expensive but uh, you know it's just uh, one of those things where if you need to have some plan B entertainment because you never know when rainy day is going to spoil the fun uh, it's nice to have something to keep you busy and entertain you while uh, you wait through the rain so what I like about this video game system is you can choose whatever system you want to play and they have Nintendo this one's hacks uh, Game Boy games, Super Nintendo, um, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, right? Let's get into some of these other ones. Old school, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis. Look at that, 1,698 Sega Genesis games. Uh, game Gear, another one, Sega Genesis 2135 on that one. 32X has only got 60 games on that. Sega CD, 95 games. Dreamcast, that's a pretty good system. Uh, 23 games there so you know all these old school systems you can go back to the neo geo stuff playstation uh 700 playstation games uh playstation portable that's really coming down now uh arcade games which is really cool that's all the arcade style games you can you can choose that so there's a lot of options here um that you can pick old atari stuff uh capcom games or stand-up video games um, and it's cool to put a quarter and you just put the uh, select button and it adds quarters, which is really cool. Um, and television, wow, that's a flashback to my childhood. Uh, let's see, TurboGrafx-16, you can see, now we're, we're kind of around the horn, but I mean, every one of those systems has hundreds, if not thousands of games. So it's a really cool system, 89 bucks. Comes with the two wireless controllers and um, sitting out here at the motorhome under the awning. Uh, rainy wet day trying to have some fun so you can see here the rain pitter pattern in the background just kind of give you an, inter an idea of what uh, this is you see i'm on the nintendo entertainment system here and i'm going through you know all the different games are alphabetical you know is that tecmo bowl there's your super mario's right they're all on here all the different ones super mario brother world super mario brothers the regular one now you go through, let's stop here and say Street Fighters, all your old school Street Fighter games. So one item in the rig that got messed up is we were driving. I didn't have the ladder secured and it fell down and took out the slide on the screen door. Amazon, 20 some bucks, got a replacement. Um, so we'll just have to pop, put it on, but be careful make sure you secure that ladder so you don't have to you know make the mistake we made so we got the replacement installed there it is works perfect um yeah just uh pay attention put that ladder in a good place enough to do that but i like it better it's a lot clearer the other one was more of like a cloudy frosted look and uh simple fix